This is Amber. She fell in love with Chad. They've been married for eight years. But two years ago, Amber fell in love with Ashley. We're in a polyamorous relationship. With their unusual relationship dynamic, the trio have gotten used to stares when they're out together. We, we have this like ongoing joke about like, what are they staring about? Like, is it all the, three of us? What's happening? So. What is happening? But it's not just outsiders that have judged their relationship. Yeah, my family's reaction wasn't great. Their relationship has raised quite a few eyebrows. I was surprised when they said they were uh, interested in an open relationship. I thought maybe things were getting a little boring in the marriage or something and y'all were just looking to spice things up or something like that. What are we having for dinner? Oh my gosh, I have not thought that far ahead. <laughs> pizza. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to have pizza anymore. Oh, okay. Tired of pizza. Tired of pizza? We haven't had pizza in like... Still tired of it. <laughs> I'm Amber. Um, this is my husband, Chad. And this is my fiance, Ashley. So we're in a polyamorous relationship that would be considered a hinge by most of the polyamorous community. Um, so I am with Chad and I am with Ashley. Um, but they aren't together. I identify as a uh, pansexual. Um, I identify as a lesbian. And I'm... Um, straight. Yeah, I'm <laughs> straight, yeah. We, we have this like ongoing joke about like, what are they staring about? Like, right, is it, is is it me? Is it the feet? My condition is called arthrogryposis. Um, it's a joint and muscle condition. My elbow joints are locked straight. From a very early age, I just naturally started doing things with my feet. Is it all three of us? What's happening? So, what is happening? You know, there's a lot to Do they observe. think Chad's our dad? <laughs> What's going on here? So this is mine and Chad's room. Chad and Amber have been married for eight years, having met when Amber was 19, playing at an open mic at a local bar. And we got married after six less months. Yeah, definitely, yeah definitely we just year. knew we wanted to be and together it was, forever. It's been quite amazing. This girl right here. Before we got married, I think we just established, like, I'm pansexual, I like women, and maybe one day I'd like to be with a woman again. You know, I think yeah. that's as far as we had kind of um, talked it out. Six years into their marriage, and Chad and Amber decided it was time to open up their relationship. So I met Ashley on Tinder, um, and Chad and I were doing, like, the separate dating thing and hit it off, like, immediately. Um, and when I'm not upstairs um, on nights with Chad, I stay downstairs with Ashley in our bedroom together, which is down here. You know, I think um, from the moment I met Ashley, I knew there was something really, really special about her. I'm gonna start crying because I just, you're so cute. Ooh. Amber was very upfront about Chad from the beginning, so I think that's why I felt super comfortable about it. So when we met, it wasn't awkward or weird. Seeing the relationship just grow and them being together just, you know, is very positive for me. Just, and there's no jealousy that I feel with um, Amber and, and Ashley at all. I think the hardest thing is other people's opinions that are Shh. not in this relationship. I, I mean, think the judgment sure. is really frustrating. We had various um, reactions from different people. My family was extremely supportive from the very beginning. And my family also was very supportive. But Chad's family have found it harder to deal with his poly lifestyle. Um, as far as my parents, yeah, they weren't too happy. Um, you know, they're just kind of, um, I guess, stuck in their ways. My family is disapproving of it because of just their upbringing about how a marriage should work between a man and a woman. Other than that, I mean, they, they've always been there f for me. Um, we're just going to make some snacks for when Robert gets here um, and some drinks. We're going to make some fancy hot cocos. Um, yeah, so we haven't really um, talked to my friends in depth about our polyamorous relationship. I've known Robert for a long time. I know he's not a judgmental person. He's a very uh, positive, uh, supportive person. And I, even if he has some injections, I know he'll, he'll have our back. And All right, how you doing, buddy? All right, man. Good. How you doing? Yeah. Thanks for coming over, man. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah. Shake your hand, but I don't like you very much. No. <laughs> Uh, I've known Chad since we were about in, I guess, the first or second grade. I tend to have thought before that uh, 
polyamory was kind of a pipe dream. You might delude yourself for a little while and think that, that it'll work, but eventually one party is going to be aggrieved and jealous. What were your first thoughts whenever? I, I, I just assumed you were going to go to hell you know? <laughs> <laughs> and burn for all eternity. That was my first thought, you know. I was like, well, he's going to go to hell, all of them. No, no. I, I, I was a little bit worried that. Um, you know, jealousy might set in and might ruin y'all's marriage at some point. I think whenever you first told me, I kind of thought, well, this might be a passing phase. You know, like, I thought maybe things were getting a little boring in the marriage or something and y'all were just looking to spice things up or something like that. And it's nice to see that, that, that it works out. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, good. Oh, yeah. Take it easy. Yeah. All right, man love. <laughs> All right. Regardless of what others might think of their relationship choices, these three are sure they're where they want to be. And Amber and Ashley are even planning on tying the knot in the near future. We got engaged and um, planning on getting married next year, so. I'm excited, I'm ready to go. I, in my mind, we're already wives. We don't really care about having a legal wedding. That doesn't matter to us. And I feel blessed to have both of them um, in, in my life. It's easy for me, I just love the hell out of both of them. <laughs> it's like, kind of magical, you know? I have both of these people that love me and I think that's really cool. We all kiss in public, we all hold hands in public. Well, no one, no one else hides their love in public usually, so why, why would we? 